Thank you for your interest in our Trailblazer 302 diesel welder by Miller. Just go ahead and give you a short video here to show you the condition of the machine. Um, on the welder itself, it does have the rear panels off of it, one on each side. I do not have those, but those can be sourced. I think they're roughly maybe $100 a piece. Uh, let's turn the ignition on here. You'll see that it reads 147 hours. Low hour machine runs great, but uh, just saw infrequent use. It is uh, stick, TIG, and uh, MIG compatible if you have the suitcase there to run it uh, off the remote. Uh, go ahead and start it up. It's about 60 degrees, so I'm not going to cycle the glow plugs at all. As you can see, there are no issues with it running. Uh, available for sale is also the trailer. Uh, just outline what comes with the trailer here. You have uh, dry uh, your rod oven there. You have one of those. You have uh, room for your torch bottles. Uh, there's uh, two for oxygen that you can lay horizontally. And then there on the other end, I'll show you when we get around, is uh, your fuel. You have two retractable leads here, one for your uh, electrode, and the other one for your ground. So we go around the side, this compartment has a three-drawer toolbox with shelving above it. The next compartment has shelving above it, and an air compressor below with a retractable hose reel. The hose reel is made by Conductix. I uh, tested the air compressor, builds air great. Going around the front here, there's your uh, mount for your fuel. We are using a jump pack today for the purposes of testing this machine, but it will come with a new battery does come with a Cox reel for your, your fuel and your oxygen. And as you can see back here, it's a better shot in at the motor. The panels removed. As I said, I do not have the panels for this machine. It's the only thing the welder's missing. It's a little dusty from sitting in there. Like I said, it uh, does have new oil and filter and uh, new coolant in it as well. If you come around to this side you have two stored shelves, two reels uh, for electrical tape cable, and then one reel here for, for gas.
And then coming back here to your last compartment, you have a four drawer, drawer toolbox with shelving above it. All these doors close up fine and the roof does have a hole in it uh, which will probably get patched so water doesn't get in but uh, it closes fine and uh, nice little unit so if you have any questions feel free to send me a message or an email my email is jimtabler at gmail.com that is j-i-m t-a-b-l-e-r at gmail.com so how many questions you have um, this machine is located in Shippensburg Pennsylvania again it is a low hour machine with 147 hours ready to be put to work if you have any questions let me know thanks for your time